Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm an application engineer with the System Solutions team at Brenesis. I'm about to introduce you to our Quick Connect IoT solution platform. And my colleagues have challenged me to take you from concept to ready to write air quality application as quickly as I possibly can. So we got some work to do. Let's get busy. First, we need some hardware, so let's put that together. We're going to use an EK RA2 L1 for the MCU. We're going to use a ZMOD PMOD for the sensor, and we have USB for our debug. So let's plug that together now. And that completes our hardware. So let's see how we get to our ZMODS gas sensor application. Again, we're going to get to the driver and be ready to write the application. So I'm going to click on Create New C Project. We know I chose an RA, so I'm going to go right to the RA selection. And we're going to do an RAC++ project. Say Next. It's going to pick up all the boards, all the wizards it has available to do it in the install. And let's call it RA ZMOD 0 to sensor. 0 to sensor. And I would add in three minutes, but that would make it long. Okay. Now, we know we picked the board, the EK. Let's see if we have it available to us. And yes, we do, EKRA2L1. So we're going to use that BSP. This thing will fill in everything automatically for me. The debugger that's installed on that board is the J-Link ARM, so I'm already all set there. And it's going to use the GNU compiler. So we say next. Okay, we're going to make an executable. And we're not going to use an RTOS, bare metal. Okay, we don't need the blinky lead, so we're going to do the bare metal minimal. And we're going to finish. And it's generating the project, all the HAL threads that I can use, etc. And it's going to open the configuration perspective, because basically I have a bare metal system with not much in it. And so when it gets to the configuration, it will give me a summary of what I've chosen. So this is a summary of the project, everything that I've chosen on the thing. BSP is already set up for this EK. Clocks are already chosen to be the internal HOKO. I have the GPIO pins defined based on the way the board is set up. I have no interrupts defined yet. I have no event links defined yet. And since it's bare metal, I only have one um, stack in here, and that's the GPIO stack. So here we go. Let's add a stack. New stack, middleware, sensor, ZMOD. Boom, sticks the stack in. Add library, the ZMOD. Still, we're going to try and get this to go not red. So we're going to add a library, new, and we're going to do air quality, so let's take the second generation air, indoor air quality sensor library. Okay, once that comes up, it says, okay, to talk to me, you need an I2C bus. So let's hit this red one. Let's hit this one feed in the row and add an I2C. Well, on this particular one, I know it's on the RIIC master channel, so I'm going to pick that. That channel is now ready to go. But if you look up top, I'm still red on the sensor. That's because the sensor needs something to trigger it. So we're going to add a timer driver to trigger the measurement of the ZMOD. So I click on that, I say new, and let's tie it to the GPT, general purpose timer. Okay, now this has gone black, but this is red. So I hover on the hint box here, and it tells me, oh, I need an overflow interrupt enabled. So I come down here to the GPT, I look at the interrupts, and I enable the overflow interrupt and choose a priority. For this demo, I'm just going to pick priority one. Now you see everything is gone black. Everybody is satisfied. 
my interface, my interrupts, my sensor library, everything. Okay, here we go. Generate project content. It's going to save the configuration file as it must, and then it's going to generate my code. So now we wait. Okay, I'm at 95%, running the indexer, and I'm complete. If I go to the RA configuration, expand the BSP, you can see that we have everything we need. The RICC master, IC2C comms, the ZMOD configuration, the ZMOD library configuration. We are all ready to start writing our main code. That's it. We're ready to write the application. And remember, your applications consist of very much POSIX-like interfaces. Open, close, read, and write. And, in, and also uh, special functions like start measurement. So you're there. You're ready to start writing your application. For more information on building a system with Renesis Quick Connect IoT, visit www.renesis.com slash quickconnect.